So to start you off, you get an email from a school that has images attached for your um, to replace the images on their splash banner on their homepage. So first thing you want to do is if you have a Dell, you're going to um, just right click, save these attachments. I save mine. I have a in my H drive, I have a folder that has for, for each school and so I'd save it there. So I would suggest creating folders for each school to save these kinds of things there. Um, or if you have a, a Mac, you can just drag and drop these on your desktop easier. Um, so I've saved these files. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to make sure you have on the web help site you have this um, zip file. So you have the Photoshop file for that splash template. Um, so you get the height and width of what that area is on the home page. Um, the next thing you're going to do is open up that item in Photoshop, um, which is what I've done here. I opened up the images here in Photoshop already. I'm going to open I'm going to go to my desktop. Here's that. Oops. Let me get out of there. I'll just open it from here. There we go, the splash template. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first um, I'm going to take these images and show you that right now this is at 16 and a half percent, which means this is a very large image. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this image because it just doesn't need all this extra space on the side. So before I resize anything, I'm going to just crop it. Um, I might even crop this girl out. Sorry, girl. So I'm going to crop it so it focuses on this specific area. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the image size again here to see that, wow, this is a huge image. To make you understand the size of that, this size right here for this, um, this splash, it's only 258 pixels wide and 250 pixels high for three images. So this one image is actually over almost 2,000. So this is a very large image. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit um, Control T or Command T on um, a uh, Mac, or you can just go to Edit. Hey, move. Or you can just go and select the whole image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to resize the image. Um, I'll actually deselect this real quick. My mouse is having issues. Sorry, guys. Oh, geez. And it froze. Well, that's nice. Okay. There we go. Came back to life. I had to unlock the image. I think now this will work. There we go. So I had to unlock the image over here. Just double click it, give it a layer name, which I just did. I did that really quickly. I'll show you slow on the other images. Then hit Control T or Command T, and you get these um, the crop, um, the resize option comes up. Big point here: you want to make sure you hold down Shift, the Shift button, the whole time you are dragging this image, so it does not warp it at all. So I'm holding down Shift, and I'm going to drag this. Believe me, it's going to need to be small. I'll go about there for now. Then I'm going to go to image. Well, first you have to apply the change, apply the resize you just did. Then I'm going to go to trim. And I'm just going to trim all the transparent pixels so that it just gets all, all of that out. So now I'm going to look at the image size. It's still way too big. So I'm going to do that one more time. Command T, Shift and drag. Now I'm going to hit, I just I usually just hit that button or hit enter and then click apply. 
Next thing I'm going to do is trim, trim the transparent pixels, done. I'm going to look at the image size one more time. <clears throat> still 736 to 904. Remember, 758 was the total width. So I can still make this smaller. That's probably better. So now I'm going to trim one more time. Then I'm going to zoom in because remember, we're still at 16.5%. See what it looks like at 100%. So that still shows you it's pretty big. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this, and this is my technique. I know Gary might have shown you differently. I'm going to drag it onto this canvas. You can see how big it still is. So if I hit Command Control or Command T again, you still get those options. I'm going to continue to hold down Shift and resize it here so I can see it within this area. I actually worked it a little bit when I did that. So one thing I'll show you. So I warped it a little when I, I didn't hold down shift long enough. So I'm going to say don't apply and it's going to make it go back to the original size. So Command T, hold down shift. Make sure you hold shift the whole time. That looks much better. So I'm going to drag it and put it in this area. Um, now you can see that there's, once I hit enter, places it in that spot and you can see that there's um, still space for two more images here. So next I'm going to go to this image. I don't want this kid's head here so I'm going to crop this image a little bit just like I did to the other one. So I'm going to crop it a little. I don't really want to cut that kid's ear off but that's good enough. Crop it a little. Um, I would even bring it up a little because I don't want that kid's head. Then apply that change. Remember to unlock this, this is what I went through quickly last time, just click OK, it doesn't need to have any special layer name. Then you're going to go, this is at 16.5% again as well, so you're going to go to the image size, just look and see how big this is, it's ginormous, you're going to need to resize a lot, so Control or Command T, hold down Shift, and away you go. Now, whoopsie, that's the whole, that's it right there again, where I didn't quite um, hold down Shift the whole time, so really make sure you do that. You want to release the mouse and the cursor before and then release shift. Um, hit enter. That's done. Then I'm going to go to trim. Trim the transparent pixels. I'm going to look and see how big this is. It's still over a thousand. So I'm going to actually make this, change this to a hundred percent. Wow, that's ginormous. So I'm going to make it a little smaller than a hundred percent. Still a little smaller. Now I'm going to hit Control or Command T again, Shift, and I'm going to bring it down even more. Then I'm going to trim again. Check out the image size. It's getting better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag this over to my splash template, put it in here, and see how large it is. It's still big. So if I hit Command or Control T, hold down Shift, continue to drag it. Continue. Froze again. There we go. So now you see I've lost. I'm going to move this up a little. But I'm not going to be able to resize it too much smaller because I'm running out of height. I want to make sure I keep it within this height. So that means what I would probably do then, I'm going to delete this. Um, I'm going to delete this layer. Don't apply. See how there's a layer here? You can drag it and delete it over in the corner there. I'm actually going to do a next step here. and I'm going to crop this kid out. Well, I'll crop part of him out to make this image fit even better. Um, so now I'm going to drag it over put it in here, remember it was still big, so Control or Command T, Shift, and bring it down to a more realistic size. Remember, leave a couple pixels of space. That is a perfect amount. It doesn't need to be very much at all, just a few pixels. Oops. So now if I hit enter, it sets it 
that looks great. I still only have a little bit of room, so one thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna select this layer right here. I'm gonna move it over a little to make room for a third picture. Same thing with this one. I'm just using my arrow keys to do this, and I'm just moving them over a little to continue to make room for a third picture. So, third picture. I'm gonna crop this one as well because there's a lot of space that can be cropped out here. Um, move this over. This can be moved over. So that looks a lot better. Um, next, I'm going to um, go to the image size to show you how large it is. It's ginormous, which I've proven already. Control T or Command T. Oh wait, unlock. Forgot that step. Unlock. Then, and that's just again double clicking here and giving the layer a name. Then you're going to go to Command or Control T. Shift. Hold this down. I'm going to bring it down a lot. Enter. Image. Trim the image. Then I'm going to show you how big this is at 100%. Still huge. We need to make it more like 80% or like 60%. Now we're going to go to the um, Control T again or Command T again. Hold down Shift, even smaller. There you go. I'm moving the image even over a little to crop part of that guy out. Then I'm going to hit trim, transparent pixels. Now I'm going to see what this looks like. It's still big at 100, but I'm going to hit command or control T one more time. Scroll down so I have the corner and bring it up a little bit more. Enter, trim. Okay, there you go. That's what it looks like at 100. I'm going to drag this over, drop it in here. It's going to be huge still, and I was right it is. So hit Control or Command T, drag it on down. Remember to hold Shift the whole time. Remember we want to make sure we leave room for the white space on the bottom or top. That's what I've got right now. I'm going to go back. Gary demonstrates using masks, which is another way. I'm showing you a way to just crop the image. So I'm going to actually, to get those girls out and just have it be them so they fit in this area, I'm going to actually go back. Um, I'm going to say don't apply this change. I'm going to delete this layer like I showed you before. I'm going to go back to this image and I'm going to crop it even more. I'm going to crop these girls out so it's just these kids. That's what I want to focus on in this. I'm going to copy it, drag it, bring it over, control or command T, and then drag it on down, make it even smaller. Remember to hold shift the whole time. I'm going to make it even a hair smaller. Again, remember to hold shift that whole time so that you're not warping the picture at all. So now if I look at the layer, oops, got to hit enter, apply that change. Now if I look at the banner, the images aren't warped, there's an appropriate amount of space between each image, and there you have it. So now, next step, last step, save it for the web. You want to make sure that it's not a GIF, but a JPEG. The quality should be 80%, very high. Um, the size is already set to the, what that canvas size was for this um, Photoshop file when you opened it. Click Save. I'm going to go to my um, desktop just to save it, something easy. Um, I'll call it SRES Splash um, September 2014 save. Then I'm going to open my browser and go to the school's site here. 
Site Actions, View All Site Content. I want to go to the Splash Picture Library, which is where all these images should go. I'm going to upload the new one. Browse. Desktop. There it is. Open. OK. There it is. I'm going to just click Save. So now it shows up right there, SRE Splash, September 2014. So now, to change that on the home page, you can go to the home page, go into edit the page. Apologies for my computer thinking forever. I'm going to edit the page. I'm going to put my cursor in this area, but I'm going to go to edit the HTML source. So, my image is 758 pixels wide, and it is 250 pixels tall. The source is in that splash folder, and it's called, I copied it, that's the title, it's a JPEG, so it's .jpeg, I'm going to call it SRES September Banner. And that can all stay the same. The next thing I want to do though, see this one is three separate images instead of all of them together. So I'm going to actually delete. You see this, this is another image, then there's another image inserted here. I'm going to delete those because they do not need to be there. So it should just have the div for this option because it is 758 by 250, it's the whole width. That's all. Click OK. Bam, there it is. Publish the page. Remember, you don't have to publish the image because it's in the Splash library instead of the Images library. And there you go. There's the new banner for Stone Robinson. Looks good. Nothing's warped. Um, and that's how it's done. Let me know if you have any questions about it.